two, one, action. But I don't have this yet. I don't have this. Class one never really starts, but we have one, two, three. Oh my god, we were like clapping like, you guys are great. No, you guys are the best ghost hunters for, ever. For the, for the audio and the video. Oh, the okay, well now I got it. <laughs> what right. a start. What a start to podcast episode one of Spooky AF with your hosts, Spooky Shan and Spooky Trav. We are a pair of siblings who travel around and we ghost hunt, paranormal investigators. So... Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's kind of weird to say. I guess we can call ourselves that after season yeah. one. Yeah, that I mean, works. even before that, we watched a bunch of paranormal shows, so we were basically we we're, were basically <laughs> paranormal investigators. <laughs> That's how that works. Yeah. 100%. <laughs> For those of you who haven't seen us yet, our main ghost hunting and paranormal investigations are on YouTube, so be sure to check those out. What we're gonna do on our podcast is a little bit different. We're mostly going to expand on our ghost adventures that we do. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna talk about our experience as ghost hunting, paranormal investigating, and we thought what a way to kick off our podcast by talking about the scariest moments that happened to us off camera mm -hmm. in season one. So we caught a lot on camera, which was crazy. I definitely just got bit out. Yeah, these things are crazy out there. <laughs> um, but, we had a lot of scary things happen to us off camera too. And just to recap yeah. for everyone who may be new, maybe haven't watched all the videos yet. So we did four different locations for season one and we called season one like intro to ghost hunting, but we literally mm -hmm. went to the most haunted locations across in, in the, the US. The world. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so we, we started off at the St. Augustine Lighthouse. Right. Still the most terrifying night of our lives, yeah, like, when you say. I, I can't believe the first investigation was the worst one we've ever, well, it was fun, but it yeah. was the, the, the most paranormal events happened on that night, I, I said. It did, yeah, so that was crazy. Then after that, we headed to back to St. Augustine to the St. Francis Inn, mm -hmm. which is a haunted uh, bed and breakfast in yeah. St. Augustine. Then yeah. we took our travels to Gettysburg, Pennsylvania, crazy that was yeah. a fun trip yeah that was and then we finish off season one by going to the queen mary the absolute mothership of paranormal activity yeah there there was a lot of things that happened that were pretty unexplainable um, and scary and we're going to talk about that soon <laughs> um, a lot of the stuff that happened there was actually off camera yeah like the worst the, the craziest things that happened like when when the blank did blank <laughs> <laughs> we'll when that. the blankety blank did the blankety blank, <laughs> it was scary AF, just yeah, like our podcast. Scary, yeah. Oh, spooky AF, spooky <laughs> AF. See, yeah. <laughs> episode it's one. It's the first one. It's the first one. We're 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 beginner we podcast. Came up with the name one. today. <laughs> <laughs> Literally like a couple hours ago. Yeah. So just cut us some slack. <laughs> yeah. So let's go back to the St. Augustine Lighthouse. So. Obviously, for those of you who couldn't guess it, St. Augustine Lighthouse, located in St. Augustine, Florida, Atlanta, oldest, yeah. <laughs> oldest city in the U.S. And therefore, of course, comes with a ton of hauntings. And the St. Augustine Lighthouse is known to be one of the most haunted in St. Augustine itself and inside the U.S. for yeah. sure. Yeah. And it did not let us down that night. No. Um, Again, if you haven't seen the video, you need to check it out because we caught some crazy paranormal evidence oh, yeah. on that first night. So much so that we were like, should we go to the news stations about yeah, this? At the, at the end of that night, we were both contemplating if we should even continue doing paranormal investigations. We did. Because, like, <laughs> we were crapping our pants. <laughs> we were. We Literally. were. I couldn't we, sleep. No, we couldn't. We went back to our hotel at about like 11.30, midnight. So it wasn't even that long of an investigation. We literally ghost hunted for like three hours and caught every piece of evidence you could ever hope to catch. Yeah, literally like manifestations, voices. Uh, Shannon got touched. Yeah. If you don't remember that, she got touched like right here. Um, my shirt we got pulled. There was a bunch of stuff. Yeah, yeah. We caught their voices on camera. Like, that's crazy. Anyways, we don't want to give too much more away, but if you haven't seen it, go check it out. So let's dive into some of the things that happened to us at the lighthouse that we didn't capture on camera. So 
as you all know, we did a, like a three and a half hour investigation there. And we, you know, our episode was maybe like an hour and 15 minutes long. So of course there were some times yeah. we turned the cameras off. We were walking to another part of the lighthouse grounds in order to film and stuff happens when you do that. Stuff yeah. happens when you don't hit that record mm -hmm. button. And um, I would say one of the most scary things that happened was that loud bang we heard oh, from yeah. inside the lighthouse yeah. when we were absolutely by ourselves. I'm trying to put myself in that situation again and I just, I don't want to. I know. Because I remember we just got off of our break, right? We, we, were, we just took a break, then we went outside. And then right as we went outside, we heard a loud, like, it almost seemed like bang. it was two, right? Wasn't it, it two? Yeah, it was like, it was bang, two. bang. Like, yeah. it was loud yeah. from inside the empty lighthouse. Empty light. And you could tell it was inside because there was an echo. Yeah. There was yeah. a few echoes. And we, so we were still on the keeper's house porch. So the lighthouse, I would say maybe 15 feet away from us. That's where we heard the sound come from. And we ran we back to the guard's office, like, because obviously when you do these pri private investigations, you have a guide, but they stay in an office and they're yeah. just there to help you with any questions you have, any, you know, locked doors you may be into, anything like that. There's guides always in an office there. We ran back into that office shaking and we were like, did you guys hear that? And they were like, no. And we were like, there was just two really loud bangs inside the lighthouse and nobody's there. Yeah. And, and they were like, yeah, nobody's there. Nobody's here except you two. <laughs> it, yeah, it almost sounded like it was, it, it was too good to be true, if that makes mm -hmm. sense. Like, too good of evidence mm -hmm. off, off camera to be true. Yeah. Um, it, it seemed like there was an actual person in the lighthouse that did that. Oh, but, yeah. But they promise that it's not rigged. It's not, yeah. nothing set up there. No. Um, I mean, no. You, you're literally paying like almost a thousand dollars to mm -hmm. investigate the night. So mm -hmm. why would they screw you? Screw <laughs> you, you <know? laughs> yeah. And there, and, and like, I mean, just some of the things that happened, like that thing, like, how do you even explain that? And then I think what was creepiest for me, because I have personally been to the lighthouse, back to the lighthouse, at least three or four times now. I actually do really enjoy going there. It's a quick drive from us here in Florida. And I think that I discovered what made that sound. And when I discovered what made that sound, it made me even more terrified of what happened to us that right. night. Because I walked up the first set of stairs in the lighthouse. I'm super afraid of heights, so we never walked up the stairs there. Mm -hmm. So I was like, all right, I'm just gonna try it. I'm going to walk up the first flight of stairs. Cool. So I walk up and I get to the first landing. And on the first landing is this little water bucket. And this water bucket is about five to 10 pounds, like heavy. And it's there to show you what the lighthouse keepers used to have to carry up and down the lighthouse stairs oh each day, gosh. right? But what happens is, so you don't steal, nobody steals the bucket, there's like a stopper. So you can only lift the bucket up so high. And when you drop the bucket down, when it's heavy, it goes bang. And I, oh when I heard gosh. that sound again, I was like, oh that's the same my, sound. I was like, that's exactly what we heard. And I just got chills again oh thinking gosh, about it yeah. because it was so, I know, it was so <laughs> scary though. Like yeah. it was really scary. We're good. <laughs> I'll let you know if I see anything. Yeah, same. <laughs> but it was terrifying to hear that sound. And we had, you know, we were just holding our cameras down. We hadn't started recording our next investigation. Yeah, which sucks. We should, we should get an SD card that records for the whole time. I know, for, for the whole hours. time. <laughs> because the things that happened to us, which, I mean, that this is just location number one, and this yeah. is just our first story. There were other things that happened there, like yeah. the whistling we kept hearing all night long, footsteps while setting up. Mm -hmm. There was just a lot that too happened much. in the lighthouse. Too, too much, much for our first time. Too much for because, our first time. Because for our first time we were shaking like, literally <laughs> i i felt like we should have done saint francis first because yeah. that was a little more like amateur yeah but <clears throat> diving into a crazy Ooh. crazy and crazy <laughs> investigation like that where 
it got to the point where literally my shirt was pulled out. Like, yeah. like by an unexplainable. Yeah. And then not only that, but we were talking about how hot it was and that we want to go outside yeah. and then to capture a little girl's voice. Oh my gosh. Ruben saying, noise is blowing. I know. Right <laughs> um, there, it's all bugs. Yeah. There was a look to capture a little girl's voice. Right. Talking about going outside. And then, That's insane. Like, I know. And walking then, down the stairs. Like and skipping. then, not only that, but we saw a shadow go down the stairs. You know, yes, so that was, well, I wouldn't say that was off camera, but we didn't really mention it much in the video because yeah. so much was happening that we, like, it's too crazy. Too overwhelming. Yeah, it was way too overwhelming. overwhelming. That but whole inside the lighthouse part, oh my God. Yeah, yeah. Best evidence it's, on YouTube. It really <laughs> is. Yeah, no, yeah. there's a full on person in, with a top hat. Please, that, that gave me chills. Don't I know, me that. too, me too. Walking because, yeah, down. You could see the whole top hat. Yeah, you could see. Oh, I don't even want to think about it. Next topic. <laughs> but the thing is, they're all nice, so they were just probably yeah. passing by, like, oh, hey, some more hey. people looking at us. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, they really were. They were nice to us that night. They just gave us a lot of evidence, and that's yeah. what creeped us out. We were like, it, it got to the point where we had to tell them, thank you, that's enough. You don't need to give us any more paranormal yeah. evidence. We caught it all. <laughs> and, and then they, they did it, right? They, no, they, they, they listened they, to yeah, us. Yeah, they, they, they were, calmed down, we, yeah. We, res we respect them, they respect us. Yeah, we were like, we are good, thank you, but yeah. it's getting a little bit overwhelming for us, how much you yeah. all are participating today. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so um, thank you. Yeah, but <laughs> yeah, the lighthouse was crazy. Yeah. Now, if we switch over to another location in St. Augustine, uh, St. Francis. Yeah. St. Francis Inn. Yeah. Um, the vi the vibe there was just you could tell there were there were residual energies. It there. was off. Yeah, the it vibe was off the whole really time. Really off the whole time. And I'm time. not gonna lie, even though it wasn't like a place that was like evilish, mm -hmm. I kind of felt like watched over the whole time. Like literally, someone mm -hmm. was watching me the whole time. Yeah, just checking and, on us, or just like yeah. I don't even know. Mm -hmm. I think that. So what happened to us there started almost the moment we got in the room and because we had just gotten in the room We didn't have any camera equipment set up anything like that. Unfortunately. Yeah, but we were kind of to, Closer together in the like corner of the room right mm -hmm. by an old bookshelf And while we're by this bookshelf you and I are just talking I think we're even just getting the ghost equipment out to start you know making sure everything's got batteries yeah. looking at what we have again we had just gotten into the room and it sounded as though something like fell or like clicked on the bookcase. Yeah. And I, I like fully expected to look like back, like over my shoulder, like just you and I both like look towards the bookshelf. Like the bookshelf would have been like right here. Yeah. And it was like, I fully expected to see like a book fell over or a figurine fell that over. Would have been even worse. Or, yeah, <laughs> that would have been worse. Yeah. But but it would have made it, sense. Yeah, it would have made sense. But there was nothing, like absolutely nothing. It sounded, it sounded kind of like a. Yeah, like it was a, like, like a, a little click. Just maybe like a yeah. like a light switch going on, like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was like a really weird. Light, you know? Yeah, it was so weird. It was the weirdest sound, and it wasn't a sound that you could like debunk with anything else. Like, right. there was yeah. no like, and it was right between our ears, like mm -hmm. right between our ears, and we were like, what? was that yeah it was like, really it felt like weird it was in our ears like yeah. it was like right here yeah like, like right it was right here ear. like yeah. Put away. like it was, yeah it was it um, was a really weird sound um, yeah and, and what's crazy is that was probably our best capture of the night and we didn't get it on camera oh i know yeah um, yeah but, which is the case in some of these other ones that we have coming mm -hmm. up too but we mentioned it in the video but we didn't ever talk about it about your nosebleed at the end yes <laughs> that creeped me out because I don't get nosebleeds. Yeah. I still have never had a nosebleed since that night. The only time mm -hmm. I get nosebleeds is when I go out west because it's dry. Yeah. So like when we move to Nevada in a couple weeks, I already know I'm going to get a nosebleed with Probably it being same. there. I think I, I remember getting a nosebleed in California when we went there. Yeah, and so I, that's the only time I get nosebleeds. I've never gotten one on the east coast. Never. I don't get them frequently, nothing like that. We are wrapping up the end of the night where we just said that we're wrapping up the video. Like we were like, okay, we're, we're done we're filming. We were about to go to sleep there. Yeah, we but, were about to go to sleep. But if you don't remember, <laughs> I was like, I just, I don't know why, but at this place, I just didn't want to stay. Like yeah. I was like, 
can we just go home? Like, it's it's only an hour and a half drive. Let's just go home. Yeah. I can make the drive. <laughs> you fell asleep on the way home, I think. Yeah. Um, I was trying not to, but it was worth it because yeah. after that nosebleed, like, and, and what's crazy is before that, we heard an, a loud noise from the bathroom. Yeah. Like, a, yeah. like another we click, did. sort of. Yeah, we like did a, hear a loud noise. In the and then uh -huh. you were to the point where you were already like, you were like, yeah, it happened. You looked over, you are like, I know, I heard it. <laughs> And then five, it, minutes later, five minutes later, your nose is bleeding. Yeah, yeah, and I, I noticed it, and I was like, I never get nose bleeds. Like, yeah. what is going on? So we ended up leaving just because of that. And, yeah, it was one of those things where, like, the more we keep doing this, like, we'll hear a sound, I'll be like, yeah, I heard that. I'm just, I'm going to keep setting up. They can wait. <laughs> yeah. They, yeah, they can give us yeah. a second. Can you make that footstep again in five minutes when, <laughs> when we're hitting record this time, please? Right. Oh, no, that was, um, that was just a lot of unexplainable sounds there. That was mm -hmm. really weird. Um, and when you think about it, like, I know sounds happen all the time, but when I'm just, like, sitting alone in my room here or just sitting and watching TV, I don't hear sounds like that. Yeah, maybe Like, I don't I hear either. stuff like that. Yeah, I know. So I'm yeah. like, okay, yeah, sounds can just happen, but then why do I never hear them any other time? Right. You know, yeah. and it's mm -hmm. like, some things like that are just too much of a coincidence to not take into account. Can they always, most of the time, be debunked? Yeah, but we haven't really found many instances like that. We haven't really been able to debunk much. Yeah, and we, we haven't we at all. Really, we really do try. We do, like, like, yeah. We like, take we'll, like 20 minutes to try. It yeah, know. we'll walk around, we'll try to recreate <clears throat> sounds, we'll try to recreate yeah. footsteps, yeah. we'll try to, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And we can't, and it's weird. It's really yeah, weird. Yeah, I don't want to go back to it, <clears throat> but the loudest footsteps we heard was in St. Augustine in the lighthouse again, oh. when it was in the corner, um, and we were doing oh. the Estes. Are you talking about when the guides were with us and we all yeah. turned around oh and gosh. looked? Someone was walking on those boards. Oh, it was so oh, just gave me the chills. It, it took two it steps and, and it was creaked creaking. loud. I got the chills too. And we all looked back and we mm. were all like, like even the guides were creeped out that night. Yeah. That's how crazy of a night we had yeah. at the lighthouse. They, they were like this doesn't like this is stuff that happens but like not as much as it's happening tonight yeah and, and they were in, they were listening to everything they were hearing everything we were hearing they were getting responses like we were mm -hmm. they like when i got like tugged on my arm she could see my arm move and she could see the hair on my oh, arm that was crazy. like straight like the straightest up it's ever been <laughs> if I that's snapped, even a way to describe I something yeah i saw that when i snapped out of the estes um I was like in the in the zone, you know. I was yeah. talking to these to these you thirteen were. year old girls. <laughs> they were like, you were like, oh, do they want to sit on the stairs or yeah. do they want to sit down? They, she was yeah. like, no, they wanted her to sit down, and yeah. they pulled her down to and sit I was like, down. Oh, it's that serious. Oh, because like, cause like <laughs> I got out and you were like, oh my gosh, and I was like, oh, I was did they did they answer yes? Do they want to sit on the stairs? And you're like, no, I just got tugged to the ground, Travis. Yeah, I was like, literally, they tugged on my arm down, oh my and then when we asked, did you do that? And they were like, yeah, but I, yeah. I knew they did. Like, I could feel it. It just felt like a That's little... That's actually crazy. Yeah. Like, you felt the electricity go through your arm? My, my, my whole arm was, like, pulsing. Like, it felt like I had gotten, like, I mean, I've never gotten, like, stung by, or struck by lightning or anything, but it just felt <laughs> like electric was just going up like like this through my yeah. arm and the hair on my arm was like a foot high like that's and the cute, guys though. were that's like cute. look at your arm and i was like i know i'm freaking out but i'm i mean i'm good with it now but yeah, um, those, those, they were just playful they were trying yeah, to play they were yeah they and, were hanging out yeah. and um they, they might have got scared over your reaction they probably did yeah, yeah. whoops but, Sorry. Um, <laughs> but it was scary because, my first time because <laughs> they are like nine years old and i know it's yeah. kind of a sad story how how yeah. they passed away, but yeah, uh, we'll we'll do a whole. Apparently, still alive there. <laughs> yeah, right. We can do whole episodes on like the background and history of all these haunted places. Just let us know if you guys would like mm -hmm. to hear anything like that. Be sure to leave some comments on our podcast. Send us messages what you want to hear because we love doing the history and background on these places too. Talking about history and background, no place better than Gettysburg. Yeah. Gettysburg was insane. Now that yeah. was three 
straight days of ghost hunting. We were tired. We were so tired by the last day. I'm like, I can't talk to any more spirits. Right I know. Now. I was like, listen, listen, John. We, we're about to go home, but just can you can you can you show yourself, please? Please, just last one more time, please. We need to get it on camera. Sergeant, so. if you're a sergeant in the woods. <laughs> If you are no. a sergeant out here from the Civil War, can you make no. a sound? No, but the crazy thing is, is we did hear a lot of unexplained talking, mm -hmm. footsteps from soldiers, it seemed like, mm -hmm. um, giving call outs. We, we heard a few call outs, right? Like that that was the weirdest outs. thing. The weirdest thing that happened there, and even um, Jen, who was featured in our video with us, she was there for one of them because you and I yeah. had gotten out of the car at off one camera. off camera. Off this camera. is off camera. Yep. We were just driving around getting a tour of the battlefield. So right. we were stopping at some key tourist sites, blah, mm -hmm. blah. We found this empty area where we pulled off and there was a big like um, memorial there. Yeah, so we got cool. out, just you and I. Yeah. We got out, we walked over by the memorial and we both looked at each other and I was like, did you just hear men talking? And you were like, yeah. I was like, and yeah. And they were I like some, chatting. Yeah. Like it was just like two men chatting. Yeah, I heard I heard two men chatting, but I also heard like some footsteps too. And I was like, did you hear like grass moving and like a little, <laughs> some voices? And, I, and like weird. we tried to like look around, but like it was way too close for it oh, to be. Oh yeah, it was close. Like we heard them full on in a conversation. <laughs> Wait, was somebody there? Yeah. Oh, yeah. okay. <laughs> Don't scare me like that. <laughs> um, yeah, no, it was weird. But then, like, so we walked back to the car. We told Jen what had happened. Yeah. Then we made our way to, I know, it was like a, <laughs> we made our way to uh, Devil's Den, right? Yeah. Um, Devil's Den, which is a big rocky area. That was, that was more cool than scary, but mm -hmm. there were some things there that happened that you're about to say. Yeah, <laughs> yep. So... The parking lot's a little bit further away at Double Send. That is where the only other people were at Double Send. So yeah. you, me, and Jen walked up the rocks, like walked up the big tall rocks mm -hmm. to the very top. And like what sounded like from right below us, like right by the rocks, we heard it again, men chattering. And this time Jen heard it too. And we were all like, there's no way yeah. that the people from the parking lot way over there, we would hear them that close right here. Like we could hear men talking again. Yeah. And I'm like, oh my gosh, like what is that? And so I think that there is very much that residual energy where they're just hanging out. They're talking together. They're reliving that battle, yeah. unfortunately. I think it's, I think Gettysburg, Gettysburg was almost 100% residual other than um well i well, i think it was 100 percent residual other than the jenny wade and the orphanage which was the scariest i, I don't even want to say the orphanage was the scariest <laughs> night i think that well no the lighthouse was first yeah but the orphanage oh my gosh the vibes in there in the basement i'm bad I, it was bad but i had i had a lot of confidence that night i think yeah that, you like, did we had already done the jenny wade mm -hmm. and i was like okay the vibe there was I think even worse, honestly. Like, yeah. it was scary. You got touched in there. Oh, um, yeah. On my that, shoulder again. What the heck? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, these spirits, they like to be touching on you. Okay. <laughs> we're going to we're gonna stop that right now. No more manifesting that. <laughs> yeah. But, um, but no, um, the Jenny Wave had, the vibe was just, the whole time I was scared. I'm not going to lie. Yeah. I was yeah. scared the whole time. But it's strange it, is that I wasn't scared in the, in the cellar of the Jenny Wave. And I, but I was scared in the basement of the orphanage because yeah. it was just, I mean, a dark pit. Like, yeah. who wouldn't be scared? Yeah, <laughs> it was, it was really scary. And like the Jenny way, we pretty much had the camera on the whole time. So there wasn't much that we captured off camera because right. it was all on camera. Yeah. The orphanage, however, I really don't even want to talk about this, if I'm being honest. Because oh this gosh, is the one that gives me the biggest. It's so unexplainable, but everything mm -hmm. matched up. Like, it yeah. can't be a coincidence. It, it was, no, it was too weird for it to not. Mm -hmm. And so, I hate that it all happened off camera, because mm -hmm. it was, like, again, the craziest thing off camera happened to us. Yeah, that was, um, this is the yeah, level, right. this is probably, I would say, the scariest thing that's happened to us off camera yeah. the loud bangs in the lighthouse so freaking scary i don't even know how to explain it but this is like next level like horror movie scary oh yeah like for sure horror movie literally scary. straight out of straight out of like the conjuring or something yeah don't even say it i'm scared <laughs> because but, do, you, do you want to tell the story because i i don't know 
I don't know. It's a scary story. It's Whoever a, tells it is going to have tears. I know. I, I know. I just, I don't, it, it was such a sequence of events within a matter of like 60 seconds that like, because we were wrapping up. So to, to plant the story, we had, we were finishing up in the basement. Yeah. However, with finishing up in the basement and moving upstairs into the orphanage, so you guys will see it in the video when you watch the video, we're finishing up downstairs and we're heading upstairs. So in between that is when this happens to us. This poltergeist activity. <laughs> <laughs> so we, um, we're packing up, but unfortunately that means we have to go get our music box and all of our equipment from downstairs in the oh, basement together. Man. We had to get those cat bowls out of the, out oh, of the, my gosh, out of that hallway. Oh my gosh. Yeah. You, you sent me back there. I was thinking about just leaving it. We get a new one. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I'll pay for the $8 cat ball on yeah. Amazon. <laughs> yeah. Um, so we had to get our equipment before going upstairs. So you had your light bar in yeah. your hand mm -hmm. and you were walking down into the empty hallway to get, I know, I don't even want to, this is a, this no. is, you were walking down into the empty hallway to pick up the music box. Mm -hmm. You turn the music box off. The music box is fully oh, it's off. off. Completely off. Switched 100% off. off. Switched, Switched off. off. Mm -hmm. Then all of a sudden your light bar cuts out completely. In, in I'm, the, I'm in the in, pitch black right at this point. In the pitch black. I, I am in the pitch black at this point and I have no, honestly, the only light I saw was the light on the left side of the tunnel, which was to exit, which thankfully was the exit. And, and you ran. And the lights off. Yeah. Um, but I literally ran out of there because, okay, so here's a backstory on my light bar. Right now, it's it's, it's, it's recording us and it's probably has full fine. battery. Yeah, yeah, it's completely fine. Full check battery. it, check it, let's check it. Check it after, okay, so it's, it's still at three. It's still at more than half. More, more than, than half, half first half. And okay. it was, it was I won't lie, it wasn't full when we started. It, yeah. was, it was a bar less. Mm -hmm. And it only lost one bar in like what? And we didn't even minutes. use it down there. Really. Right, we, we didn't use it. We didn't it use it down up. there because we, we kept the lights on. It yeah. was lit up. Uh, and we had your red light pointed into the tunnel, right? We didn't have the light bar. Uh, or did we? No, you had the light bar in your hand. In my hand. Yeah. And then that's when it went out. Yeah. when you were in there. The point is, is that the light bar lasts about three, four hours, and we didn't really use it at the Jenny Wave. We didn't use it um, at all at no, Jenny Wave. No, only for some cinematic shots. And it was fully charged. Like, it should not lose battery in under three hours. Like, it shouldn't be dead. But it drained super fast. And just and, cut out completely Yeah, and all on of a sudden, you. it just cut out on me. Like, while, while you're in, in black. In there alone, which yeah. they wanted in yeah. the first place. They were, they, they were, were telling asking, me the whole yeah. time to come in there. Yep. Yeah. Oh, well, that's scary because it lines up now, now, now that we're talking about it. I know. Yeah. So anyways, your light bar comes <clears> out. <throat> After you turn the music box off, you run out. Yeah. We're freaking out for a little bit. Then we hear the music box go off. Yeah. The music box is off. Yeah, the music box is completely The off. music box is completely it's off. It's turned off. We hear it go off like ding, 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 ding. Yeah. And we look at each other and we're just like, oh, the music box. And then we were like... Wait a minute. It's off. The music box is off. <laughs> the music box is what off. What the fuck? Yeah. And, what? and that's not even the scary part yet. We haven't got to the scary part yet. I know. The sca okay. After, we, after the music box played for like three, four seconds maybe? Yeah. Yeah. It Going was, off. It was completely off. And yeah. we know it was off because I checked it again and it was off. Yeah. When we went to go pick it up, yeah, it, was it was off. off. It was off. It was so off that it was also broken. It was broken. And it was like, I'm getting the biggest okay. goosebumps right now. Yeah. Because, so how the music box works is there's a band that goes around that will like, obviously when something goes in front of it, it will turn and that band will turn and create the music. That's and the band was works. completely fine. It wasn't broken. We, it was working no. the whole time all the way until this yeah. point. The whole night, it was working just fine because our music box was going off in the video that we have on camera. So you, we're out of there, your light bar is dead. The music box is going off while it is off. Oh my God. Then we go to retrieve the music box when we finally get brave enough to. Mm -hmm. I think we had the guide like walk with us. I think I just and ran the, for it, I think. Yeah, I think, oh I yeah, think that's right, you it. did. You because did, you at, ran no, at for that it. Point, mm -hmm. At that point, wait, at that point, the, um, the, the music box was just sitting in the dark in the pitch mm -hmm. black, um, and it was off, but it went on somehow. And yeah. I was, it took probably about 20 minutes for me to build the courage to yeah. go and get it. 
Mm. But I ended up getting it with a foam flashlight, I think. That's right. Yeah, foam and you just foam ran. Foam flashlight, it was bright. Yeah. And then I, I completely ran out of there. And and that's when we noticed. Yeah. That's when we noticed. We were like, where's the band? The music yeah. box is broken. Yeah. And we were like, what yeah. just and, happened? And I didn't pick it up aggressively. I, I still picked it up lightly because it is expensive, obviously. Mm -hmm. But I don't want to break it. I didn't throw the band off anywhere. No, it's not an easy band to no, like. It's not. No, you can't. You can't just. It's, no. You can't really even pull it off. Like you have to like. Yeah. Stretch it and then take yeah. it off. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it, it it was just so creepy that it all happened within such a quick time. Yeah. But when I and, and what's creepy to me is I have watched other paranormal investigators, of course, like on YouTube. It they have had this happen to them too. Like, I have literally seen in their videos that they capture on camera, they capture the music box sound, and they're like, wait a minute, we didn't even put that out. They're like, the music box is in our ghost equipment still. Yeah. Or they'll, they'll play a different sound or something like that. Even in, like, Sam and Colby's new video, mm -hmm. the music box goes off, and they don't even know where the music box is. Do you remember yeah. that? They're yeah. like, where's the music box? Yeah. Where did it go? Someone, didn't someone take, like, they, did they ever find I wonder I if they have, ever found it. I have no idea. Because it was just not there. I wonder <laughs> no, if they ever found it. It was completely just not there. And then the other ones I was thinking of were Haunted Nights. They're the ones who captured the music box sound and they were like, wait a minute, we don't even have the music box out. Like, what? Was that, are those the ones who do like the night vision and stuff? Yeah, like yeah. Did they, they're brave. Did they're they, so much more brave yeah. than I am. Did it, didn't they get the same evidence as we did? Oh, yeah. Where yeah, it was kind of boring. Yeah, mm -hmm. to, to transition sort of. Um, so, a backstory, I guess, um, is the whole time we were doing the Estes method, which is a method where you basically talk for the spirits. Yeah. Like, you, you go under headphones, blah, blah. Talk, talking for the spirits, what you hear, you, you say it. Mm -hmm. um, the whole time they were telling me, um, as Shanna was asking questions, they were telling me to go down to the tunnel. Come down here, I'll come show myself. Tunnel. I'll show um, myself, yeah, mm -hmm. which is crazy. Yeah, um, yeah. Come all the way down. All the way down, like, yeah, come you said, What'd you say, down. something like, um, should we go down there? And it said all, all the, the way, way down, down, which is, I could mm -hmm. not hear what she said. I was. Yeah, and it was it's bad loud. that night. Yeah, the yeah. SS was, was bad that night. Mm -hmm. But Haunted Nights literally had these same exact things come through on their SS method and down like there. And I was the like, same words. what? Same words. Come yeah, down, it was so weird. It was so weird to the point that I emailed them. And I was like, we literally just caught like the same exact evidence that you guys did and we didn't even watch your video until we got back because I wanted to see what other paranormal investigators mm -hmm. have had experience here oh. <laughs> okay. um and I was just shocked because yeah. it was crazy yeah I mean and then speaking of crazy we can transition to our final investigation of season uh, one mostly because I'm too scared to keep talking about the orphanage because orphanage that was, was so scary, scary. Um, <laughs> mm -hmm. But not that this gets any better, but now we talk about the Queen Mary, which oh, yeah. was also very scary Most like, haunted ship in America. Yeah. <laughs> yep. And one of the most haunted hotels in the world. Yeah In the world. I don't yeah, I hesitate to talk about this <laughs> <laughs> um, Because there was just like that whole ship and honestly, first, I would like to just discuss the guy that we met. Oh, the janitor? The janitor. That was weird. Because he was way too welcoming to the ship. Yeah. He knew way too much about the ship, <laughs> even though he worked on it. I mean... We still, to this day, we don't know if he was real that we were talking to somebody. He said he saw a ghost all... like five yeah. minutes earlier. Yeah, yeah. This is all off camera. We're just walking around the Queen Mary. We're showing you, because my mom and I had been on it before. We're showing you the Queen Mary. And so, okay, another off camera thing that happened, because I wasn't even a ghost hunter at this time. I had previously just been on the Queen Mary about two or three months before with my friend Megan and my mom on our Southern California trip. And we were walking around the Queen Mary, just, you know, walking, um, touring, listening for sounds, of course, because I was, you know, still into the paranormal then, just not actually hunting yet. Mm -hmm. um, and we were at this one part 
where we were all just standing there, like all three of us in a circle, and the door right next to us started to shake and the handle was jiggling. Like, and the lights were off in there. It was just, it was creepy. So we were like, what just happened? So we were in the middle of telling you this story. So fast forward a few months later, we're now telling this story to you on board the Queen Mary. And I went to go show you what happened. So I grabbed the door handle, the same exact door that I know it was on the Queen Mary, and I shook it and I jiggled the handle to show to show you and to show like my little mom was there, but to recreate what had happened that time. Mm -hmm. So I do this. Couple seconds later, a man walks out. <laughs> yeah. The man walks out and he says he's a janitor on board or whatever. And I was like, oh my goodness, I'm so sorry. I was like, I didn't know anyone was in there. I was just. Oh yeah, didn't you do it? You did it, and he yeah, was like, yeah, yeah. He was like, there? <laughs> <laughs> I probably freaked him out. My bad. Mm -hmm. So he comes out, and he's just this older guy, mm -hmm. really nice. But well, he didn't have janitor clothing on, right? No. He just had normal clothes. <laughs> he just had normal clothes on. So, I mean, he could have been. You know, I'm, I'm sure he was. Um, we could all just have been freaking ourselves out. But yeah. he was talking to us, you know, about the Queen Mary. We're saying, like, oh, you know, we're on here because we know it's haunted. And he was like, oh. He was like, I just saw a ghost, like, five minutes ago. A little yeah. girl. And I was like, I'm sorry, what? Like, he just casually throws that out there. Mm -hmm. Then he goes, yeah, down in the boiler room. Do you guys want to come with me and I'll show you? And we're like, That's a scary way to say it, right there. Right? <laughs> and we're, say it like yeah, that. he did. He was like, come, like, let's go. We'll use the service elevator. Just don't tell anybody. He was, don't tell anybody. That's another thing. Oh yeah, he said not to mention this at all. Tell anybody. It's an elevator. Yeah. yeah, and he was taking us down to another tourist area. So I will say that the boiler room itself I know it sounds like scary but they do have a bunch of like boardwalks in there and stuff and it's very like open to the public so yeah. tourists can go down there people can walk in there etc so it wasn't like a weird area that he was taking us to it was just side he was leading us down this corridor we go to the service elevator <laughs> what are you looking at nothing I, I just I think that like I don't know I'm probably freaking myself out but I saw like a white mist go past like the chair there like past your shoe and stuff it's the humidity Probably of Florida. Like, yeah. <laughs> um, so he takes us down the phone corridor. We get to the like employee or service elevator. Why we got in after watching the Tower of Terror, I don't know. But we got in. Mm -hmm. And he takes us down. He says, enjoy. The elevator door is closed. And we never see him again. Never again. Never, never again, again. The whole time on the ship. And mm -hmm. that was as soon as we got there. And we were on the ship all day long all night long yeah and we never saw him again which i mean the, i mean how often are you really going to see the hardware janitor person mm -hmm. probably not often but it was just weird mm -hmm. um very weird mm -hmm. it was like i don't know it yeah. was but then we get down there and we start hearing things down there too mm -hmm. and like bangs and scratches and stuff like that and i'm yeah. like i can't with this shit. <laughs> yeah. was yeah that he took us to the place where door 13 was was that or was it a oh yeah yeah door 13 where john yeah, yeah where john got uh -huh. um, um and in that room. room that that was another area where we didn't actually get to record in there yeah we couldn't um, record we in there couldn't. well we didn't have our camera we were just yeah, walking we around the ship around. yeah we were just walking around um, the ship completely but, but another off-camera moment that happened there is we were hearing like loud things underneath yeah. our platform yeah yeah, um, which I mean, it's a ship. It's in the water. That could have, you know, explained yeah, it. But some like things right that some things don't like make sense. Like, especially like when you're on a ghost tour or you're doing these paranormal investigations. I don't think people can fully grasp like how we can tell exactly where sounds are coming from mm -hmm. and what could be making them. Mm -hmm. It is very obvious when you are in that position where the sounds are coming from like if there were a sound right now to my right i would very easily look to my right and i would know it's to my right yeah you there would was probably a sound, know what it is yeah yep yeah, if there was a sound back here i would know you know i would know where it was coming from mm -hmm. that's my point is i know where sound is coming from or we know in general where sound is coming from yeah and it's it's something you can tell when mm -hmm. you're ghost hunting or when you're in that situation like on a video you might hear the sound and you're like 
um, are they sure that's where it came from? And we're like, yeah, we're sure because yeah, we can tell. We're here, we're there. Yeah, we're <laughs> there. We can tell where it's coming from. And yeah. and that like when so really quick back to the lighthouse, like you were mentioning, those loud footsteps on the creaking like wooden planks behind us. All three of us you knew. who I didn't oh, know. Yeah, because you were under. All three of us turned to the same exact spot. That's what I mean. You can tell where these sounds are coming from, and other people validate that too because you can tell where the sounds are coming I, from. What I will say, I did feel something during that during, when that when that noise happened. I did feel like a you know how you like you can feel like when there's noises next to you, you can mm -hmm. feel like the thud and the, stuff. Yeah, yeah. I, the I thought it, I thought it, I, I just thought it was the guide in the moment, just mm -hmm. leaning back on the on the thing. Oh yeah. Um, but I looked back and no, it, it just wasn't. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the video, it's no, weird. the video, it, it was literally almost like someone was someone was walking across the planks but and which is a common thing to have happen mm -hmm. there a very common thing probably one of the little girls were just oh, coming stop. closer <laughs> but speaking of little girls oh. and the queen mary this we're is, gonna bring it up this was on camera though it was on camera but we didn't really talk about it we were too scared honestly yeah it was um, um i will say so I, I know we talked about how the music box going off when it was off was one of the most terrifying things that have ever happened. This is honestly a pretty close second. It's it's up there as yeah. well as all the stuff. They're there. all yeah. They're, they're all they're, they're all, all up there to be honest. Mm -hmm. Um, I have never been so like frozen and like panicked when this happened. Oh, yeah. Um, on the Queen Mary because first off it was about twelve thirty at night, almost one a.m. It's yeah. easily almost 1 a.m. Yeah. And we were the only ones, mm -hmm. only ones by far, still up and about. Yeah. No, we hadn't even seen anybody else for like two, three hours at this point. Right. Because I think the last people we saw and talked to were the people who stopped and wanted to like investigate with us at like 10.30. Yeah. yeah, that was the last people we saw almost. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Yeah. And so, Except for like the, the people at the front desk. Yeah, stuff. yeah. Which we can talk about what was happening to them too. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. They were having a paranormal experience big time right that night themselves leaving. right when we were leaving, so we'll get to that. But if you all haven't watched our Queen Mary video, we capture something very similar to the lighthouse with the little girl's voice. Why do we always capture these? We're prone to hearing it. I we guess. we are, yeah. We must just be prone to. But we were hanging by the pool area. We had just started recording. We were telling the story of little Jackie when we oh, heard at 12.30 at night from inside mm -hmm. the pool area that nobody is allowed into because the floor can collapse. Not even employees can go in there. Yeah. We heard a little girl's playful scream. Yeah. Three or four times. Yeah. It was so terrifying that I'm done talking about it. <laughs> yeah. Next. No, yeah, I don't want to talk about either, but yeah. all I'm going to say is that what what parents would let their 10, 9, 10, 9, 10 year old mm -hmm. little girl um, screaming and playing anywhere yeah. on the ship at, four times. Yeah. At, With the same pitch, same voice. Yeah, at not at uh, at 12.30 a.m. Yeah. No, no parent. Every kid was asleep on, on ship. It was just bad. It was really, really bad. Um. Mm -hmm. And then another thing that happened to us off camera there was by the infamous room B340. Yeah. Um, where it's supposed to be one of the most haunted places on board the ship. They don't allow many people to go in there. They used to, not so much anymore because of its popularity, especially among ghost hunters, paranormal investigators. A lot of people are going there. Um, so they don't allow that anymore. However, we were standing kind of in a line. So how the Queen Mary works is you have these really long, creepy hallways <laughs> yeah. throughout the whole Queen Mary. And then not only that, but then you have side creepy hallways where all the cabins are. Yeah. So it's one long creepy hallway and then small side creepy hallways as well. Yeah. So we were kind of in a line in that side creepy hallway. You were at the door of B340. What is that? I don't know. I think it's just a kid playing on the street. No, that was that way. I don't know. That was like screaming. Yeah, that was weird. Um, always, always with us. Um, so you were in a line, 
you were at the door of B340. I was in the middle, like halfway back through the creepy side hallway. Mom was at the main scary long hallway. And she was just standing there. <laughs> I was just standing there. You were just standing there. Mm -hmm. You go to like knock on the door and you say, we're gonna be quiet. We're gonna hear what we hear back. So we knock on the B340, sorry bug. We knock on the B340 mm -hmm. door. We're completely silent. Yeah. And we hear feet shuffling from behind me behind me, in between me and my mom. Mm -hmm. So my brother and I <laughs> automatically assume that it's my mom mm -hmm. or it's our mom. Yeah, because she, she, she does that sometimes. She does she that, shuffles she shuffles feet. her feet. Mm -hmm. And so much so that he and I give each other a look, like an, a, a look of like annoyance. You know how siblings look at each other and we're like, yeah, oh like, my gosh. We just said to be quiet. <laughs> we just said to be quiet. We're trying to hear for a knock back and you're back here shuffling your feet. So we give each other a look of annoyance, wait for a couple more seconds, don't hear anything. And I turned back to mom and I said, mom, I said, you can't do that when we're asking you to be quiet and you've got to keep your feet still. And she was like, I haven't even moved. She's like, I'm standing completely still. Yeah. And Travis and I, you and I look at each other and we're like, what was that shuffling then? Yeah. Like, because we heard like, yeah, like some like, was Shuffling. And what's crazy feet. is mom didn't even hear it, but you and I heard it because we looked at each other annoyed and I turned around and I said, mom, please do not do that. We're trying to listen for noises that we have to try and capture and you're shuffling your feet. And she was like, no, I'm not. She was like, I was standing completely still because I knew you would yell at me if I, yeah. if I didn't stand completely <laughs> still. And I said, well, the ghosts got you in trouble then yeah. because yeah. they were shuffling their feet while we were trying to hear. No, but that was crazy because it really, it sounded literally like what mom does. Yeah. Um, yeah. I don't, I don't know what that could have been. It literally sounded exactly like what she does. Like it was mimicking her or something. Mm -hmm to get her in trouble. <laughs> and I really think she was staying still the whole time because yeah. when I looked back at you, I, I didn't see her moving. Yeah. Like and she, so she was like, in a position where her feet were, st were stuck to the ground. Like yeah, I know she, that too. Normally she puts her hands on her hips and goes like that. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, she does that <laughs> but, and kicks it straight back. Uh -huh. like that. But, but she was just like, she was like this. Yeah, she was, she was scared. She was mm -hmm. scared. So she was in a pretty like tough stance. And yeah. so it was like, okay, well, it was it was just weird like i don't know how to explain that sound uh -huh. and there were other things that we captured on queen mary that we caught on camera which is good yeah. um because we wanted to um the final thing that made us leave the queen mary at mm -hmm. night was not captured on camera of course and it happened to you so do you want to tell the story of what happened yeah um it's kind of hard to believe like honestly um because so it was scary it was like scary. we all three were in our cabin and we looked at each other like yeah yeah and and it what validates that is that i was already like let me let me tell the story first <laughs> so i was gathering the equipment like all my filming equipment my tripod my light bar all that good stuff from um, the back side of from, our cabin from, yeah from our back room and there's a yeah. door that separates the cabin mm -hmm. from the like the main sort of new upgraded stay area, area. Yeah. yeah um and then the bathroom's back there and all that. So I, when I was collecting the equipment in that in that cabin room, the door was, what, was wide open, right? Um, and it's a heavy, heavy door. Mm -hmm. um, you literally have to like pull it hard mm -hmm. to, to get it shut. And we were walking in and out of that room all day long. All day long. All day long, because we were going back and forth getting our equipment, we were investigating, we were going to the bathroom. I took a nap on the twin bed because I, I sleep in haunted locations. I don't know if that's what I do. Yeah, that's, yeah that, that's why we're gonna talk about what happened to you in season two next. But, <laughs> um, um, but okay, to continue. I wrap up, I have all my stuff. Honestly, mm -hmm. I have a big load of equipment. Yeah, you, you had everything in your everything hands. Everything was in yeah. my hands. like. Yeah. And that's again what validates this is that I had no free hands. Yeah. No, everything. You, ever, you had everything in your hands. Literally that entire back room of, of equipment that I had in my hands. Tripod, all this, blah, 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 blah. Mm -hmm. Stuff over my shoulder, stuff, stuff over my front. Yeah. Um, two camera bags. Um, so 
when I when I exited the room, when I was done, I did a final sweep of everything. I had everything. I walked mm -hmm. out. I paused at I paused at the front at the door. I looked back in the room. So it couldn't be wind that did this. It couldn't mm -hmm. be like my gust of wind because I stopped and then walked out like right mm -hmm. at the door. I looked back, but as I walked through the doorway. And you're coming back towards where mom and I uh -huh. are now. Uh -huh. I'm coming back there. <laughs> I'm coming back there. Um, again, everything's cleared out of the back room. You have your hands full still. Hands are full. Mom's on one side of the bed. I'm on the complete opposite other mm -hmm. side. And, uh -huh. and so I'm walking and I'm already at the other side of the room. Mm -hmm. Like I'm in front of the mirror and the mirror is far from that door. Mm -hmm. um, okay, so mom, she hears a click. Well, yeah, me. we all kind of hear a click click. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we all hear it. We all hear it. And we all three like look each other, look at each other. Like we all keep looking at each other until finally one of us says it, and I don't even remember yeah. who says it. Yeah, I think I think mom said it. Mm -hmm. Mom was like, "Did that door just close behind Travis?" Yeah, um, and I was like, I think I said I was like, "I'm way too afraid to look," and you couldn't even turn around. You were so scared. I couldn't. I didn't want to. I didn't want to turn around. But at that point, I was already in the other room. So mm -hmm. like. It wasn't me, obviously. Mm -hmm. like, yeah, because you were already in the other, I was room. In the other room. And it went click, click. Like yeah. it was shut. It was pushed shut. It was completely shut, right? Yeah. Wasn't oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was completely shut. shut. Yeah. Um, yeah, so mom looks around the was it Was it mom who looked around the corner? Yeah. Because we, 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 we made her. Because we made her. We were um, like, mom, you're the mom. You got to go look if the yeah. door shut. We're <laughs> too afraid to go look if that door really did shut. So and that's what we heard. Yeah. So mom looks around the corner very slowly. You know, how she goes. <laughs> like she the hands on the hips. Yep. And lo and behold, the door is completely shut. And completely she goes completely shut. And so she peeks around and I I can't remember if it was you or I and we said is the door shut? And she turns back with the her face is almost white as a ghost and she goes, Yep. And I was like Yeah. Oh no, she was in shock. She I, I yeah. never see mom do that. Like but she no. was like Yeah. 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 She said it just like that. She's yeah. Like, yeah. And she, like, her whole face was, like, drained. Yeah. Like, she and, was so scared. And she, she was, was like, we, yeah. we, we should leave. She was yeah. the one who said we should leave, right? Yeah. Or she, we like should that. leave. So we continued packing up and we left. Yeah, <laughs> we left that I'm cabin because. Cabin um, yeah. But actually, speaking of our cabin, I'm glad we brought that up because I almost forgot this. So we had just gotten into our cabin. We put our stuff down and we went to do that tour of the ship, like I told you, where we walked and we ended up meeting that janitor guy. But we walk out of the cabin and I go to you and mom and I say, wait a minute, everybody stop. I said, do you guys smell that cigarette smoke? Yeah. And you guys were like, mom was like, I don't smell anything. But you were like, wait, yeah, I do smell cigarette like wood, smoke. Like sort of mm -hmm. like wood burning. Yeah, like it, it smelled like smoke, like straight up smoke. Mm -hmm. And I was like, where is that coming from? I was like, you can't smoke on board. There, I mean, we're on a ship in the water. Like, where is the smoke And the, and come the from? people next door us were had kids. Yeah, so yeah, they they're not. Gonna, the room yeah, kids. no, they're not. It, it smelled like straight up cigarette smoke, right? Yeah. Just picture what it smells like. That's what exactly 100% what it smelled like. Yeah. And so, whatever, we go do our tour, we go back into our cabin, and we hear going on outside of our cabin we hear the haunted ship tour of the queen mary going on which they do multiple times a day if you're interested just go to the queen mary website you can get a ticket to do the haunted tour on board the queen mary well lucky for us <laughs> we're, we're hearing the haunted ship tour come through and we're like oh please don't stop near our cabin please don't stop near our cabin they stop right outside right our, right cabin. our cabin. And apparently we have the most haunted room. Right <laughs> <I know. laughs> it was so bad. Right next to B340, we had the haunted We had most haunted the room. most haunted room. And we were like, we were sitting in our room, in our cabin, getting our ghost equipment out, stuff like that. Sitting there doing whatever. We're hearing the ghost tour go on right on the other side of our wall. They're telling everybody in there about stuff that happens in these cabins around this area and around our cabin that we're in and they go and this still is crazy to me because i cannot re like the face i made when i heard this because i'm listening to the tour guide they go a very common thing for guests to experience around this area is the smell of cigar or cigarette smoke and we all just went, no way. I know, it we were all like, added up right there. Yeah, it like, all added up. It. They were we were like, that's crazy because that specific area is where Winston Churchill liked to hang out on board the Queen Mary and he was a heavy cigar smoker. Yep. And I was just like, that is so 
weird. It gives me chills because like, again, it just validates what happens to us. Yeah. You know, as I say, I'm smelling cigarette smoke. Okay, a couple hours later, the haunted tour goes by and says, common thing yes say they hear here is, or smell here is cigarette smoke. And I'm like, no yeah. way. It happens That's way insane. too much to us. Yeah, like, it does. Occurrences like that where yeah. we experience that, experience it, and yeah. then we realize, we figure out that that's a that's something that happens. That happens often. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So mm -hmm. that cabin was just crazy in general. So we leave the cabin. It's probably like three thirty, four o'clock in the morning. Yeah. I would say we and we had been up all night long. Long story short, our flight got delayed from Orlando. We got stuck in Phoenix. We had to fly early in the morning to uh, to LA. Then we had to, or no, to um, Orange County. We had to then go straight to the Queen Mary on like five hours of sleep, stay up all day and all night and try to film. We were exhausted. Yeah. Like we couldn't even like keep I, our eyes open. I could open. really stand up at that yeah. point. I was yeah. on the tripod. I mean, we had been awake for like at least 24 hours. So 3.30, 4 o'clock in the morning, we go up to the front desk and the, there are two ladies working there that evening. Very, mm -hmm. very nice. I bet if I would have asked if I could have gotten, you know, some access to B340, they would have said yes, but we were tapped out yeah, at the I end would, of the day. I would have been like, you're crazy. We're, we're done. Get in the car. <laughs> we're done. <laughs> we're done. <laughs> um, and so my mom is telling them we're checking out early because, you know, some things are happening to us mm -hmm. and we would like to leave. We don't want to stay here. Um, I could have. I was the only one game to stay the night. That's because I'm crazy. Um, mm -hmm. And the ladies who are working the front desk, they were like, we're actually having a pretty like freaky night too. They were like, we were hearing, weren't they hearing a bunch of noises in the back in the ba office? In the bathroom, I think? In, in their uh, back, office. back office. Like they go back there and like the papers are messed up. Mm -hmm. And they said the lights went on and off. I think they said, something I can't like remember that. exactly what um, they said. I don't remember. They said there was maybe keyboard know. clicking or something like something that was like what that. they heard. Anyways, yeah. they were having a par paranormal experience that night too. Yeah. Um, where they were like, we totally get it because there's some creepy things happening to us tonight too that we can't explain. Yeah, and they were like, we would clock out if we could, but we can't. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> exactly. They were like, yeah, there's there's some crazy things going on you know, on board the ship tonight. And we were, sorry, a mosquito landed on me. Like, yeah, ah, it's still on me. Okay. I feel like we left just at the right time because after we that, did. I think stuff would have been too far. Like yeah. we would have gotten too. Oh my gosh, it's still on me. I'm sorry, it's, it's <laughs> not leaving me. Okay. Sure, okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're good now. But yeah, it was it was perfect timing to leave. We went back, we had a good night's sleep. We were completely fine. Yeah. Um. But yeah, and then and then we wrapped up season one, which was crazy. And now we're preparing for season two, which is going to be all about haunted hotels, mm -hmm. which is a lot of fun. Yeah, a lot of fun. Um, scary, <laughs> but fun. We have a lot of really cool destinations coming up. We might as well go ahead and start talking about them. So we're moving to Las Vegas, Nevada. Woo -hoo! Woo -hoo! Woo -hoo! Woo -hoo! Clapping again, <laughs> just like starting the awkwardness at the beginning. Yeah. Um, we're moving to Las Vegas, Nevada. Nevada is known as one of the most haunted states in the U.S., yeah. which is awesome. Perfect. We love it. So with that being said, we have a few reservations we can probably tell you about. So our first one coming up here in just a couple weeks is going to be Hotel um, Apache in Las Vegas, Nevada, one of the most haunted hotels and buildings in Las Vegas, which is really cool. So we're excited to do that. Then we are going to the Mizpa Hotel, the place where ghost adventures, Mr. Zach Bagans himself got their start because they captured a full apparition on camera right. at the Mizpa Hotel. Yeah. Wait, no, was it the Mizpa? Wait a minute, I'm completely wrong on that. Strike that, it was not the Miss Spot, it was the Washoe Club. Yeah. We're not going to the Washoe Club this season, sorry. We're going to hotels. So strike mm -hmm. everything I just said, that's not true. Washoe Ghost Club Adventures is something Washoe about. Club is in Nevada, it is in Virginia City, I, I wanna say. And we do wanna do that. So we will do that now that we live in Nevada. Easy trip. Yeah. The Miss Spa, however, is still an extremely haunted hotel. Um, voted the number one most haunted 
place in the U.S. to stay the night. Mm -hmm. um, so fun times ahead for us. We're then going to head to a clown motel. Yay uh, for clown ghosts. Aren't you excited, Travis, where I'm taking us? No. <laughs> <laughs> then we mm -hmm. are going to also be going to a very old haunted brothel inside Virginia City as well. So we have a lot of um, really fun, scary, crazy things coming in store for season mm -hmm. two. Not to mention the Shanley Hotel, which was insane. Yeah. We have to air that video because that was crazy. Mm -hmm. And we'll talk more about season two once it starts airing. Yeah. Um, but for our next episode, we want to kind of dive into some of the scarier things that happened on camera as yeah. well. So we're talking about off camera this whole episode. Next episode from us is going to be talking a little bit more about everything that happened on camera and going into how it felt to actually live through what was happening yeah. right there. Mm -hmm. And I mean, spoiler alert, it was, you know, spooky AF. So, <laughs> <laughs> what a great closing statement. Uh -huh. <laughs> um, end the podcast. And end the podcast. <laughs> no, it was, um, there was a lot of scary things that happened. So if you want to, you know, in between this episode and our second episode, go check out our videos if you haven't already on YouTube under Spooky AF. And we can catch you on the next episode where we talk about our experiences living through some of the crazy things that happened to us on camera, not off camera this time, on camera in mm -hmm. season one. Mm -hmm. yep. Sound good? Thank you for listening, everyone. <laughs> yeah, thanks for listening. Be sure to invite your friends. Keep listening. We'll have episode two out for you very soon. And we cannot wait to chat some more with our spooky besties. I love sharing the love of paranormal and ghost hunting. And now it's night, so guess what? We get to go to bed after talking about all I these know. scary yeah, stories. I'm not sleeping so I know, I'm like, oh, why did I do this at night? <laughs> <laughs> wait, put we put gotta... on a Disney movie and... <laughs> <laughs> Toy <Wind> Story. <laughs> 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 All right. We will see you, Spooky Besties. Stay tuned for episode two. Mm -hmm. Peace out. Bye. <laughs> okay. Cool. Oh, sorry, okay. Error. <laughs>